H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. So which operating systems support Selenium WebDriver? Um, Sangeeta, uh, I think you are the only one uh, who are interactive here, probably you can, do you, do you have anything in mind? Um. That's fine. The operation, operate, operating system, for example, it's Windows 8, Windows 7, uh, Mac, OS X, Linux, and these, uh, so these are the operating systems that are supported by Selenium, so we can automate uh, these operating systems. Uh, so there are operating systems which uh, are not supported by Selenium? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there, there are few, but I could, I, I don't know what, exactly what are those uh, operating system that are not supported but I guess there are few which cannot which, which are not supported by uh, uh, Selenium for example I, I guess Docker is also supported uh, yeah but it's it's not on my on top of my mind but it is there are few operating system which are not supported by Selenium. Okay. Okay. The next question is uh, the languages supported by WebDriver. Uh, so, more in most of the interview, people ask like, what is, what are the languages supported by WebDriver, and in what language you guys have worked in previous project. So, if, if this is the questions, uh, so, so what would be your answer? Uh, programming languages supported by WebDriver, uh, Java, Python, Ruby, um, and C. Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> and yeah. um, the language I worked in, Java, in my previous project. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's that's right. That more in 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 the current industry, in the current market, Selenium WebDriver market. Uh, most of the most of the projects are using Java. Uh, uh, for example, in my project, we use uh, Groovy, which is the advanced version of Java. It's it's similar to that of Java. So now, so it it's it, I mean, we we can't say which one is better than which. Uh, you know, we can't really compare. But one thing we can surely say is uh, Java would be better than other but it doesn't mean that you should not use uh, other languages the reason why I was suggesting Java is we would get a lot of uh, help in the Selenium web driver community because of number of users using Java so if you have any issues in your project while automating say for example as you said if you could not do uh, email testing or if you wanted to if you are stuck with any functionality which you are looking for some solution, uh, you will get a lot of guides and support from online community for Java. So, but it doesn't mean that we should not go. I mean, every every languages are so powerful in WebDriver, so we can use anything whatever we wanted to. It's good that we are so clear and sure in the interview that we are saying one specific languages when. People ask. This will be a very, very important questions in any of the interview. Okay. So, any questions so far, guys? Okay. So, what are the different types of drivers available in web driver? Any guess? Yeah, Firefox driver, um, iDriver, Chrome driver. 
Okay. Good. Uh, we have many different different types of web driver. Firefox driver, as you said, Internet Explorer, IE, Chrome, Safari, Opera, Android driver, iPhone driver, and HTML unit driver. Uh, so one more question here. So since uh, you said uh, Firefox driver, should we install Firefox driver in our mission in order to run the scripts against Firefox? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, the reason why uh, we should not, we don't have to install Firefox is the Selenium is basically coming up with Firefox and it's in Selenium as inbuilt driver for Firefox. So we don't have to do or install anything else. But for other other browsers, we need to install the driver, web driver. Like for if, if you have to execute scripts in Chrome, we need to install Chrome driver and place it in specific location to make the scripts to work. Okay. We move on to the next questions. So which web driver implementation is the fastest one? So we have we have seen many different types of web drivers, right, in Selenium. So so if someone asks which web driver would you guys prefer and which web driver is the fastest one in the market, what would be your answers? Firefox driver. Uh, in a way, yeah, but there is one more driver uh, which is HTML, oh, HTML. Oh, unit okay. driver. Well, the HTML unit driver is a headless driver, meaning it doesn't have any browser. Everything is done in the back end. So it is so fast and quick and compared to all the browsers, HTML unit driver is fast. But again, uh, yeah, but we cannot really say, uh, but if, if you ignore HTML unit driver and if you, have, if you have to choose between the other drivers, in real time scenario, we will not be able to say which driver is better than which one because everything depends on the application how we are doing it and the, how we are creating our scripts. Because, uh, for example, if we are using XPath, I'm assuming you guys already know the, the locator, I mean expert locator. So if you don't, probably we will cover it in later part of the session. Um, as an example, if you are using expert for as a locator for our application, and uh, if you are using if you are using many expert, basically expats are very very slow in Internet Explorer compared to Chrome and Firefox. So in this scenario, Internet Explorer will be slow. So the slowness and fastness are also depending on what locator we choose and how the developer have coded coded like IDs and it depends on everything. So, but if you have to compare between everything, HTML unit driver is the fastest one, and the reason is it doesn't have any browser; it's just a plain HTTP request which hits the direct server and it is far quicker. Um, I have a question here. Yeah. Um, in real time, how much HTML in the driver is used? Uh, it depends on the project. Most of the guys don't use it. Most of the developers might use it for their unit testing. Uh, uh, most of the most of the projects are using Web Selenium uh, for their unit testing because it's a free of cost and. Most of the applications are, especially with the Java application and .NET application, they just use, since they already, developers already know the code, they, they just install the Selenium and they just use it for, uh, you know, uh, their unit testing, just eye level testing, but few, few projects require it, it depends on the project, but in the market, it's, I don't see many, many, many guys using HTML unit driver, but there are projects which are using HTML unit driver. Yeah. But compared to Chrome, Firefox, and IE, HTML unit driver is very less. Okay. But it's good to know, you know, uh, it's good, good, good to know uh, that for interview that uh, do, there is something called HTML unit driver. You can just say if, if someone asks about this in the interview, you can just say that I am aware of this unit driver, but we have not used it in our project. In our project, we are using what 
just be confident when you are talking uh, and you have to be very confident that you have you have to say that these are the only uh, web driver I have used like for example if you are confident with Chrome you have to say you just work on only one browser and that's just Chrome that's it so, so be sure what you are answering but it doesn't mean that even if you say that you have worked on only or, or if you have if you have worked on only on this specific web driver it doesn't mean that you need to share the information whatever you know with respect to other web drivers you can just talk about that but have a check stating that I have not used it but I have knowledge about it something like that does it make sense yeah okay. um, again for the you guys who have joined uh, if you guys have any questions please stop me and um, I'm happy to answer you guys anytime okay we'll move on to the next question 